Hello, and welcome back to Dress Relief. I'm your host, Mariel, and if you're tuning in for the very first time, this show is about fashion. Today's story is a riveting episode featuring plenty of twists and turns as I teach you how to dress effortlessly chic. I'm going to show you five outfits and explain the tips and techniques I use to make these outfits and what makes them effortlessly chic. Before we get started, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more fashion and style content and follow me on Instagram to stay up to date. So let's get started. This first outfit works for a few reasons. First, monochrome outfits tend to look very chic, especially in a classic neutral color like black. It also features structured silhouettes as I'm wearing a blazer over my shoulders and flared pants with a pearl detailing on the side, which elevates them a bit. For shoes, you can't go wrong with heels to quite literally elevate your outfit. And I tend to go for a pointed or square toe for a classic look. The second outfit is another monochrome look, but this time I'm going for tan, beige, and brown tones. I'm wearing a turtleneck as modest necklines look very elegant, and I wore this look with both heeled, pointed toe boots as well as a classic square-toed block heel. I also love this skirt from Jing, Jade.ing, as you can actually turn it around so different panels face the front, and it still looks good, so it's very versatile. Next, for a more casual chic look, I'm wearing the same black crop top and pointed toe heels from earlier, but with straight leg jeans. I think a straight leg cut is always flattering and goes with pretty much anything, so it's a staple. And I think for that effortlessly chic wardrobe, you definitely have to invest in good quality basics like this. Then I threw on this pinstripe coat. I think the pinstripe pattern is a timeless look and the structure of the coat is very elegant. The only thing I would change is I would get the sleeves tailored as they're a bit long on me and it's super important for things to fit properly and look tailored to your body for that effortlessly chic look. I also recommend playing around with simple jewelry so here I am layering on a couple of gold chain necklaces but you can experiment with more or less jewelry. I also wanted to show that you don't have to avoid sneakers for a chic look so I swapped out my heels for some sneakers. The trick to sneakers is to go for a sleek looking silhouette and a material like leather or faux leather so that it is easy to keep clean. Next, I went for another modest turtleneck and monochrome look. So I'm wearing this black turtleneck with a floral printed skirt and black belt. The skirt looks elegant with the midi length, yet still effortless, flowy, and comfortable. I'm pairing that look with these black lace-up boots. Finally, for this last look, I'm wearing a simple button-down blouse, which is also an elegant neckline, and I'm leaving a few buttons unbuttoned and pulling the collar out towards my shoulders to get more of a v-neck and showing off my collarbone area. This makes it look more effortless, like you just threw on this shirt. I'm tucking that shirt into these wide leg jeans, and I think what makes these jeans work is that they fit perfectly at my ankles. As I mentioned earlier, it's super important for things to fit properly, and I think having items look tailored to your body really elevates the look and even makes your outfit look more expensive in a way. I'm pairing that with the same black boots from the last outfit and throwing on a nice structured wool coat to finish up the look. Thank you so much for watching everyone. I hope you enjoyed today's episode of Dress Relief. Don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel for more of these riveting episodes. I'll see you in the next one.